Hey there! In this video, we are gonna explain about lists in Python and how we can work with them. There are four built-in data structures in Python that are used to store collections of data. List, tuple, set, and dictionary, all with different qualities and usage. List is a collection which is ordered and changeable. It allows duplicate members. Tuple is a collection which is ordered and unchangeable. It allows duplicate members too. Set is a collection which is unordered and unindexed with no duplicate members. Dictionary is a collection which is ordered and changeable with no duplicate members. Choosing the right type for your particular dataset can lead to increasing your efficiency or security. A list is one of the most common data structures in Python, which is used to store multiple items in a single variable. In continue, we bring to look at lists and in the next video we will learn about dictionaries. But how to create a list? To create a list in Python programming, the elements are placed inside square brackets and separated by commas. Lists can contain any number of items and they may be of different types integer, real, string, boolean values. A list can also have another list as an item. This is called a nested list. It's cool, isn't it? Let me show some examples. List 1 is a list with no item. List 2 is a list of integers. List 3 is a list that contains strings. List 4 is a combination of strings, floats, integers, and boolean values. As you can see, we can have any type of data in a list. In list 5, we have integers, a string, and a list as an item. So list 5 is a nested list. And list 6 is a list with two items that any item is a list of two integers. So list 6 is a two-dimensional matrix. In this section, we are gonna learn about producing some useful lists. Number 1. If you wanna have a list of 1000 of zeros, you don't need to type 1000 of zeros. We can define a list of one item of zero and multiply it by 1000. In fact, we can repeat the item by using a star. Here we have another example, a list of 100 of ones. Number 2. We can concatenate two lists by plus. If you print list 1, you will get 1000 of zeros that followed by 100 of ones. Number 3. If you need to have a list of numbers of 0 to 10, you can use command list and command range. Command list takes an iterated and command range produces numbers of 0 to your arbitrary number and we assign these numbers to variable list 2. Please note that if you pass 11 in the parentheses, you will have numbers of 0 to 10. List indexing in Python, elements are indexed from zero. To access an item in a list, we can use the index operator square bracket. As an example, variable countries is a list of strings. Index zero of countries refers to a string Germany and index two of countries refers to a string of Italy. Index 3 of countries refers to a list of Spain and France. If we want to refer to item France, we need nested indexing. So we can access to France by command countries 3, 1. In Python, in addition to regular indexing, we also have negative indexing. In negative indexing, index minus 1 refers to the last item at the end of the list and index minus 2 refers to the second item at the end of the list, and so on. Let me show you by an example. We have a list of characters here. A string A is the first item of the list.
and its index is 0 and minus 4. The index of a string B is 1 and minus 3. If you print characters 0, you will get a string A, and if you print characters minus 4, again you will get a string A. If you print characters minus 2, you will get string C, and if you print characters minus 1, 0, you will get character D. So far, we've learned how to access an individual item in a list, but how can we access a slice of a list? We can do it easily in Python. As an example, we have a list of numbers from 0 to 9. We can access to the elements of 0 and 1 by numbers 0, colon, 2, and if you print it, you will get 0 and 1. Please note that element 0 is inclusive and element 2 is exclusive. You can delete 0 and get the same result. We can access to the slice from 2 to the end of the list by numbers 2 colon, and if you print numbers colon, you will get all the items. To access all the other items, you can print numbers colon colon 2, so you will get the even numbers. If you print numbers colon colon 3, you will get 0, 3, 6, and 9. And if you need all the items in a reverse order, you can print numbers colon colon minus 1. In this section, we are gonna explain about some important operations on lists. Here we have an example, a variable charge that contains some strings. We can get the length of a list by command len. If you need to know the index of the first occurrence of an item in the list, you can use method index. In this example, we have charge.index item A. We will get 0. Method count helps us to get the number of occurrence of an item. For example, charge.count item A will return 2. You can delete the item in your arbitrary index by command del. Del charge 2 deletes the item in the index 2. You can also delete a slice of a list. Del chars 1 colon 3 deletes the elements 1 and 2. You can use pop method to remove the last item in a list. If you pass an index in the parentheses, it will remove the element in the given index. If you want to remove an item, you can use method remove. Charts that remove item A will remove item A. By method clear, you can remove all the items in the list. We have another example here. Colors is a list of some strings, red, blue, and black. We want to add brown to the end of the list. We can do it by method append. Colors that append brown adds this item at the end of the list. If you need to add an item in a given index, you can use method insert. For example, colors that insert 1 green inserts green into index 1. Now if we print colors, we'll get red, green, blue, black, and brown. If you need to sort the items of your list alphabetically, you can use method sort. You can reverse the order of the items of your list by method reverse. Do you remember? We learned another way to reverse the list. That's right. It was colors colon colon minus one. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial. We have tons of videos like this in our channel. Be sure to subscribe our channel and also please like and share our videos. Thank you and have a good day. See you in the next video.